Greetings, true believers, and welcome to a Cooking with Linux episode. That's kind of a weird sort of crossover between a Cooking with Linux video and uh, the podcast that I do with Evan Leibovich called Tick Tech Toe. Anyway, uh, what I want to do today is I want to show you how to edit a podcast episode using a program called Audacity. Now, if you take a look, oh, by the way, I'm Marcel. I'm Marcel, just in case you didn't know. Anyway, so if I do an LS here, you'll see that I've got, uh, what have I got? I've got four little clips here. Uh, one of them is the introduction, which is the one that says Tic Tac Toe Alive. The other one is the post show, which is just a, a few minutes, three minutes of uh, what we did after the show on episode six. Uh, I've got a transition, which is just a clarinet sound, and I've got another transition, which is a little bit longer. So I want to show you how we uh, work with this stuff. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize this, and uh, we are going to open Audacity. Audacity. There we go. Audacity. And bottom, 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 bottom. Okay, just so that we don't have like the the whole. Yes. Okay. Okay. So uh, let's uh, let's uh, stretch it out a fair bit here. Uh, in fact, let's stretch it out all the way. What the heck? You've already seen what's in the uh, terminal window there. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import the main part of the audio. And uh, that would be the one post-show MP3. And as you can see, we have like three minutes and oh, 16 seconds or whatever of audio here. And if I just start playing it, you can hear it. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I, it's um, my, my perspective on this is that... Okay, I and if I jump a little bit further ahead... Monthly podcast listeners. Well, there you go. Okay. Okay, now you probably noticed uh, there was a fairly hard uh, uh, jump there in between the two pieces. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just, I'm going to do a control A and I'm going to take this whole thing here and I'm going to go over into where it says effects. And there are a few things, like you'll notice that there are some empty spaces there, but uh, I'm not going to worry about those immediately. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to go into effect and I am going to go into normalize. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some... Well, actually, I didn't have to do much normalizing here because apparently that's already been done. Anyway, that's to sort of do an automatic adjust on the audio levels. If you've got left and right tracks, it'll normalize on uh, both of those tracks as well. But let's go to where I said the transition was happening, Monthly which is... podcast listeners. Well, there you go. Okay, that's where I said right here at the 115 mark is where I said this transition happens. So if I go and I click at the 115 mark right in here... Okay, and then I go over into edit. I can go to clip boundaries and I can split that. And the nice effect about this is now, see, I can select text like this. But if I switch to this little tool here, okay, I can actually move these tracks around. See that? See that? I can move these tracks around. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? So one of the first things I want to do, so let's say that I want to move that uh, way over here. Now, my introduction is a short introduction, but let's say that um, I want to... In here somewhere, I want to insert. Now, I could do multiple tracks. Let me, let me show you multiple tracks for starters. So let's say that I import audio, and we're going to do this tic-tac-toe alive, which is the introduction. Okay, there's the introduction. It's actually in stereo. I don't really care. Actually, I should have translated that to... Uh, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, so now what I can do is I can take the... If, if I hit play from the beginning... I am alive! You can't win that game. Okay, see, that's a little bit loud there, but I can actually, uh, so what I can do here is I can select this whole thing here, and I can say, okay, let's go into effects, because to me that's a little bit loud at the moment, and let's say that I drop that down, oh, um, uh, I don't know, 3 dB. So there we go, so I drop that down 3 dB, I hit play. Okay, so now I've got my introduction. Now I'm going to take the clip over here. Remember, I've switched to this tool here, which is the spacer tool, or sorry, the time shift tool, rather. Take the time shift tool, and I'm going to drag this over here so that the podcast or our discussion starts basically just before the audio cuts out. So let me start it from here. Technical. And then we're going to start talking in here. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. I, it's um, my, my perspective on this. There we go. So I've got an introduction here. And in between these two things, so in this part here, we're sitting here talking. 25 talking to 54. 
while listening among those 55. All right, we're talking about the demographic, the age demographic at this point for podcast audiences, which I went and did a little bit of Googling to find out what exactly what it was. Because, you know, I wasn't 100% sure. So what I can do now is if I go back to the uh, to the selection tool and I just go in here and I say file and I could import at this point now. Notice I did a multi-track thing. So I've got a, a track for the introduction and then I've got my first track. But I could also uh, insert this thing in here. I'll say uh, uh, transition in here. Whoa. I lied. I lied. Actually, what I didn't lie. What I'm going to do now is I've got this and I'm going to go control C and then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go control V. Uh, mono track. All right, this is something to learn then because I've got a stereo track. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, a split uh, a stereo track, which is actually a really weird thing to see here because uh, I'm going to say, let me see, split. Uh, split stereo to mono. Okay, split stereo to mono, and then over here I'm going to go with split stereo to mono as well. Oh, actually, I already did that. Huh. Anyway, so that's been split to mono. So now I can actually go Control C, and then I can go Control V. And there you go. So I've got my transition in here. And if I use my time shift tool here, I can drag my transition over here, and then I can drag this clip. So if I go to just before we discuss Monthly this, podcast listeners. Well, there you go. All right. Well, I didn't. Okay. Okay. Now, I did not make that particularly nice, but that's fine. That's fine. I actually did want to just sort of demonstrate what we're doing here. So let me go back to the selection tool. And again, if I wanted to, I could take that little tiny piece of text there. Um, I could take that little tiny piece there and I could change the uh, audio levels on it, which I'm not going to do because they're just not that loud at the moment. And now, of course, just to make, uh, you know, and then I've got my, oh. now we go into Harry Potter. In Harry Potter um, uh, is working in a, um, in a French. So actually, what we were actually talking here wasn't Harry Potter. What we were talking about was actually a movie called Bottle Shock, uh, which, which uh, starred Alan Rickman, who was also in Harry Potter. So, you know. He never saw Alan Rickman in anything but, I think, one or two movies or something like that. Evan, 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 good God, man. I've got to improve your, uh, your knowledge of movies out there. Okay, so now the last thing that I want to do is I'm going to import the tail end, which is the... Um, uh, oh, I don't have my outro in here. <laughs> I don't have my outro. All right, so what the heck. Let's pull in the outro, shall we? Uh, CP, uh, I think it's sitting in... Um, in audio, TTT, outro, TTT, oh, outro, outro.mp3. All right, now I'm gonna move that over here. I'm gonna copy that over here, good, okay. Uh, and then let's go back to the Audacity window. Okay, now I'll be able to import it. Now he'll be able to import it, my pretty. Sorry, Wizard of Oz thing. All right, here we go, outro. And the outro is incredibly loud. It's incredibly loud. So we're going to select the outro. And I'm going to dramatically cut this one down. So I'm going to dramatically cut down the outro. And I'm going to go, uh, let me see here. Um, oh, effect. <laughs> effect. Amplify. Now, what's funny, of course, is amplify sounds like you're just increasing the volume. But you can negatively amplify, which is uh, what we're going to do here. So I'm going to negative eight. There we go. There we go. And I'm not going to be quite so loud. Control C. And now if I go right down to the end here, I can do a control V. Now, two things here. I could do my outro again. Actually, let's do that, shall we? Let's go and just, whoops. Let's just go and reselect our outro here. Control C. And I'm just going to, not the outro rather, sorry, the transition. I'm going to do one more transition here. And I'm going to go to my time shift tool and uh, I'm going to move the transition over there. And then I'm going to go down to where, whoops, I'm going to go back to the beginning and I'm going to select this text. So I'm going to select, whoops, got to go back to the uh, selection tool. So go back to the selection tool. I'm going to control C that. And then I'm going to go up to the top and I'm going to go control V. So there you go. So now I've got my exit. I've got two transitions. And again, I mean, I could actually, I could actually have those things go over top of each other, um, have the sound go up and down, and so on. But I'm keeping it pretty simple for this. So let's go to the time shift tool, and now we have all the bits and pieces. So if I jump here, well, there you go.
Okay. And Fine. I know there's something there. Okay, and now if I go, uh, whoops, if I go over down here and I hit over here. Are we? Ah. Can I just do another transition in there? Hi. This is Marcel. After the show. So there you go. So now we have all our bits and pieces for everything that constitutes an episode. And at this point, because I actually don't want these things in here, I can just say X, 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 X. So I got rid of everything that I don't want as far, oops. That was stupid. <laughs> Guess I just got rid of my introduction. Oh man, that was really dumb. All right, import audio. Let's go back to ah, let's go back to my introduction. Now you get to see it again. There we go. So we've got the introduction, uh, which uh, I may just have to go back in and edit. Okay, so we've gotten rid of all those things. So we've gotten rid of all those things now. So I have my introduction. The transitions and so forth have all been inserted into the audio. If I go back, there's my uh, outro, which is why I got rid of it down there. And uh, finally, let's just export this. So this would be like our finished uh, episodes. I would say export, and I would say uh, post show um, post show audacity. I'll just call this one audacity. Audacity, and now I go save. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna mix that down to two tracks. And now I can just uh, I can just call this whatever I want. So this is uh, tick. Uh, CWL for cooking with Linux and Audacity, Audacity and TTT for tic tac toe. There you go. And obviously, that's no longer just an intro, but you can fill in the information here as as you see fit. And then you click OK, and the whole thing gets exported to an MP3 file, which I believe I went and exported to the wrong um, to the wrong folder. So let me just re-export it back to this one. So I'm going to go to say export again. As MP3, I want exactly the same thing. I don't want it in documents. I want it in um, in my audio demo folder, which is the one that we're in at the moment. So I'm going to say save. There we go. Oops. Uh, no. So I want to I want to call it post show audacity. There you go. Post show audacity because I don't want to overwrite the other file. And I'm going to say okay. That's fine. And that's cool. And there we go. Exporting entire file with standard presets. Now, the one thing I didn't show you is if you're editing something that's fairly complex, you're going to want to save your work as you go along from time to time, okay? I mean, because something's going to go wrong, disaster will strike, at which point you would go save project as, and then in the case here, uh, let me go to audio demo, and we're going to say uh, that AUP file, that's an Audacity project file, the .aup file. So it will remember the changes that you've made to the audio so that you can go back in and fix it up a little bit later or continue editing it when you have more time, okay? That is what that thing is for. So, whoops. So uh, let's call that one Audacity as well because that's what we called the MP3 file. And there you go. So now if I were to close, well, if I were to exit Audacity at this point, and then I just restart it back up again, Audacity, 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 there we go, Audacity. Uh, if I do it again, and I can now just, rather than importing the little tiny bits of audio, what I can do is I can import, I can, uh, actually what I can do is I can open a recent one if I want. So Okay, so we're just going to open, and then I'm going to go into the uh, AUP file, the Audacity AUP file, and I'm going to say open, and there you go. There's the project that I was working on when this whole thing started. Anyway, if you like what I'm doing here, oh, oh yeah, and just so you know that it actually works, just so you know, M player, M player, uh, TTT, uh, EP6 post show audacity.mp3. There you go, here we go. See, it works, it works, it's alive, alive. Sorry. Anyway, if you like what I'm doing here, um, please. You know, you can support uh, what I'm doing uh, in lots of different ways. The, probably the best and easiest thing is just to share this video to with other people, uh, tell other people about it, uh, leave me some comments, thumbs up, thumbs down, oh, thumbs up, thumbs down, it doesn't really matter. Uh, leave me some comments, subscribe, and uh, tell everybody about it, your friends, your neighbors, your dog, your cat, your fish, you know, whatever. And uh, I'll see you next time on another Cooking with Linux. And hopefully, hopefully, you'll tune in to Tic-Tac-Toe. My podcast with Evan Leith. <laughs> Let me try that again.
me try that again. Hopefully, you'll tune in to Tic Tac Toe, my podcast with Evan Leibovich. There you go. Sorry, Evan. <laughs> Bye. Marcel, out.